rising of the sun Oh, how I wondered of what today will come Quit my job and started playing my guitar Facing my future, I got hit by a car This is not what you'd expect The end to be that incorrect On my path to happiness Across the red light now Wanka Jesus! <coughs> Sorry. No, you startled me, boy. <coughs> you upset? Of him? No. I mean, I'm, I'm upset, but... But you're not a relative? No, no. You're not, are you? What? A relative of... No. <laughs> Good. So... He and I, he used to be my PE teacher. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, you smoke? Oh, no thanks, I've given up. Come on. Peace offering. Make up for scaring you. Oh, all right. Did you like him? Robert Wanker Wilson. No, I didn't like him. Can't be that bad. Hey, he's just nasty. A bully. Good job he's dead then. <laughs> well, yeah, but... But what? Well, you don't wish anyone to dead, do you? <laughs> Give you a rush. Mm. Oh, I feel like I'm 13 again. What, behind the biology labs? Yeah. B7. It was a dare. Amber Bennett said I had to. I made her write Miss Harris Smells of Pepper Army on the blackboard the week before, so I really had no choice. <laughs> well, you don't. If it's a dare. To come here often. <laughs> I used to live round the corner. I moved as soon as I bloody well could. The only highlight is the cheese market. I mean, that can only thrill a girl so many times. <laughs> so, um. What does thrill you? Uh, oh. oh, I can't. Where do I? I dare you. Oh. So where are you now? I'm London. The big city. Yeah. I'm in the music industry. Wow. Really? No, not really. <laughs> well, kind of. I work at H&B. You in a band? Yeah. I'm not very good. Well, everyone's all keen to begin with. You know. They all love the music, love each other. And then after a few months, it all just peters out. 
I'm like the anti-muse. I hang out with people long enough and they get uninspired. You'd inspire me. <laughs> Do you really want to hear my problems? Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't even know your name. <sighs> Luke. Susie. Tell me. Come on. Uh, okay. Um, well, my boyfriend left me, but it was my idea too. We're going to move in together. Well, we talked about moving in together. It was my fault. No, it wasn't. I mean, I just wanted to know who was seen. I wasn't prying. I did ring him a lot. I had a lot to say. And I read a few of his text messages. You know, I wasn't stalking him. Girls can like cricket too. <laughs> I don't understand why he didn't want to be with me. <laughs> Sorry. We all need someone. Hey. I'm single and that is fine. Is it? No, not really. I mean, why do we all still fall for this handsome prince sort of white horse crap? You won't be the first person to fall for me. I don't fancy you. <laughs> hey, what do you do for a living? You know, stuff. Stuff? Don't give me that. I just bared my soul to you. I guess the main thing's debt collection. I shouldn't think he's got much to offer. You'd be surprised. What did he do to you? It was ages ago. <clears throat> okay. It was like 14 years ago. <clears throat> there was this game of rounders every Tuesday. And this boy hit the ball like really, really high and I'm out at the edge of the field and I don't know, if I'd caught the ball, we would have won. But I don't know, maybe I was standing in the wrong place or the sun was in my eyes, I don't know. And I dropped the ball and we lost. He was so horrible. He just humiliated me. He got everyone in a circle and said, oh, Susie Carter didn't do very well, did she? One simple catch, one catch, and we would have won that, wouldn't we? I mean, and then he threw the ball at me. I mean, actually threw it at me, so I couldn't catch it. And then says, oh, there she goes again. What's wrong with her? She's so stupid that we should send you to a special school. I mean, I'm 12 years old, and he just kept going on. This bastard kept going on and on, and I was crying, and everyone was laughing. <laughs> I wet myself. I was so scared. And I stood there crying with wee written down my legs. He was a total cunt, wasn't he? Say it. It'll make you feel better. He was a total cunt. Sorry? He was a total cunt. I can't hear you. He was a total cunt. He deserves to go to hell, doesn't he, Susie? Bastard deserves to go to hell. And you should be the one to send him on his way. Should I? You do this one thing, and everything will be all right. What should I do? Let him know how you felt. Get your own back. Piss on his grave. You fucking hate him, don't you? Do. Go on then. Go. <laughs> Do it.
Do you know what? I forgive you. I forgive you, Robert Wilson, for making me wet myself 14 years ago. This is not what you'd expect. 